We have been taught to sacrifice the present on the altar of some higher, generally measurable, external good. How well one is able to take stock of and be grateful for the things that life has already provided them is, in my opinion, a good indicator of how much growth has taken place. The goal of self-improvement should be to deepen one's awareness of and comfort with the present moment, as well as to gain insight into one's own emotions and the ways in which they influence one's behavior, whether the action is spontaneous or selfless. This is what motivates it. Our motivational force is fueled by our emotional states. To grow oneself, it helps to recognize the role that emotions play and to try out a variety of methods, tools, and fields of study. Nonetheless, nothing is as life-altering as doing the inner work of retention. By doing inner work, we can learn to recognize our inherent frailties and heal the emotional and mental wounds that underlie our daily actions and decisions. Emotional instability increases the risk of developing addictions, making poor choices, and engaging in harmful behaviors over time. Therefore, the concept of inner work can be defined as the process of becoming more self-aware through an increased capacity to identify and manage one's own emotions. Though it's easy to reduce inner work to talk therapy and introspection, there's actually a rich ecosystem of resources, methods, and philosophies to explore. Spiritual perspectives, such as Taoism, Ayurveda, and Tantra, are fascinating because they provide more grounded, humane, and oftentimes overlooked approaches to daily life and self-care. During the journey of retention, your mind will open up to the point that you can finally see things as they truly are. Suddenly, your view of the world becomes crystal clear, and you realize that from now on, you are the one who controls your life. The minute you decide to stop wasting your energy, that energy starts to transform every aspect of your life, and you won't believe how quickly things shift. You begin to perceive God everywhere, and you comprehend that all things are interconnected and essential to one another through Him. Day after day, you will notice a dramatic alteration in your entire experience. As a result of the universe's sensitivity to vibrations, you will become aware of individuals departing and joining your life, being taught by others, and inadvertently passing on knowledge to them, fighting at work just to have things turn out great the following day. Women with higher vibrations or who are virgins are naturally jealous of you and will want you without you having to do anything to earn their desire. Your dreams have become more intense and will reveal your future, keen intuition, luck, and exact events or synchronicity have advanced to version 2.0 people on the street talking about exactly what you intend to create in your reality. Deaths, unreliable people, pain, crime. Everything goes out of your reality after your energy starts to return to Eden's garden. Healing can take up to two years, so be patient, although it can be accelerated with dry fasting and water fasting. That little period of time can expand to several weeks, months, and even years with consistent self-control. All of us are interdependent. Hold on and try again. Give God your worries and sufferings and you will manage with him.